Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing a couple of uh, Friday night games from college football week seven right now with Indian Cowboy from Doc Sports. Uh, Indian Cowboy uh, has a long history of doing well in the NBA. I know he's excited for the NBA season to start. Indian Cowboy, thanks for being back with us. Hey, thanks for having us, Pete. All right, so uh, before we get into your analysis of uh, Fresno State, UNLV, tell us a little bit about uh, what's going on at Doc Sports right now. Uh, I know you're, uh, you're looking forward to the NHL and NBA starting soon. Yeah, we're very excited about it. Obviously, NHL starts tomorrow. We're going to start off with a six-unit selection uh, in the NHL, kick it off. Uh, it's very similar to our baseball money line sports, which we've had a good season, plus 3,000 on the year. Obviously, in the NBA, we were number one in the country. It's transparent on the site. Every single selection that we've released on the documented spreadsheet. We went 94 and 62, plus 12,890. Early bird package is up. Combine that with uh, college basketball. We went about plus 17,300, so 60% in the NBA, 58% in college ball. We went 59% for almost 200 selections, uh, which is really hard to do. And then you combine that with WNBA, we went plus 20,300 for three sports, which is 59% across all basketball, across all three sports, all winning seasons. So, yeah, we're excited about the NBA season. We're excited about hockey. And, of course, football. We had a good football week last week, seven football selections this week. And uh, we're going to have one selection from every conference, which is our play of the week, per conference. And then we're 5-1 and one the SEC, and then we'll have uh, two NFL selections as well. With our big play, uh, it was the eight unit on the Giants over the Falcons last week. All right. Awesome. Awesome record there, Indian Cowboy. Okay. Fresno State and UNLV. Uh, UNLV is a 10-point home underdog, total 65 and a half. Fresno State, you know, they had a bad start to the year. Uh, they lost their first three games against the spread, but those were very tough assignments, right? USC, uh, Utah on the road, and Nebraska. And then since then, they've uh, covered their, their, their last three games uh, after that. And, uh, you know, when their competition stepped, they took a step down in competition, and they've done better. They've, com they've covered pretty comfortably when they started playing on Mountain West teams, and UNLV has not gotten it done at all, right? They're 1-5 against the spread. Their one cover was, uh, was a 17-point loss as an 18-point underdog. So UNLV is just looking like they're in shambles right now. So, uh, you know, just based on how these teams are going, I have to think that Fresno State probably has another quality game against another, uh, you know, uh, overmatched Mountain West team, and they're more likely not to get a cover of 10. And then just like the other game we, uh, we discussed, I wasn't thinking about the total in this one until I saw it come out at 65 and a half, and I'm wondering why is that line so high? Uh, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing like an explosive game. I bet the under in UNLV uh, San Jose State, that one was a winner. 65 and a half here, I'm not really seeing it, so I would lean under as well. What do you think, Indian Cowboy? Yeah, if I was to lean on a total, it would probably be actually the, the over only because mm -hmm. UNLV might be an active dog because they got to salvage their season at some point. But you know what, though? Your analysis about UNLV was right on. Mm -hmm. This team's so bad. They're 1 in 5 ATS right now. And they could very well, you know, show up and, you know, save the Alamo type game. They could really get it back together. But at the end of the day, I mean, this team lost by, you know, 14 early in Illinois, got blown out at Houston, got blown out at San Diego State, but they saved them in 17. San Jose State lost by 23. And you face a, a a Fresno State team that kind of got it together. They had won their last three uh, by margins of about 40 and 9 and 9, and they played some good teams in New Mexico and San Diego State. Um, so this looks like a blowout written all over, and rather than fidget with the total, I think we're just going to roll with it and not try to complicate this too much. You know what I mean? Yes. Just say Fresno State is a significantly the better team. UNLV is in quite a bit of shambles. Uh, I know UNLV has, has a great deal of revenge, obviously, from losing last year 38 to 14. They were 25-point underdogs in that game. Now they're only 10-point underdogs here. They, the leans would be here on the over, just in case they're an active dog. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I mean, Fresno State has done so well in conference games. They're 5-1 ATS in conference games, 8-3 ATS when they face a team with a losing record, meaning they win the games they're supposed to win. You know, combine that with you know the Rebels just struggling so much, and they're 1-5 ATS in their last six games following a straight-up loss of more than 20 points. So it's not like they figure it out right away and they continue to struggle so we're going to keep this pretty simple and just go with the much better team here on the power rankings not going to overthink it i'm agreeing with indian cowboy fresno state minus 10 it is we'll see where this line closes maybe this line might uh, close closer to 14. thanks so much indian cowboy the sbr network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns big money free betting contests year round a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.